done, the dye is in the bottle, and we are ready to tie-dye. We are getting tips from the expert Marion from Two Tie Dye for clothing. What are we making? So today we're going to be making a tank top, a, a headband, a pair of socks, and a scrunchie. So there's different designs that you can do. The first design is an ombre, so you just take one rubber band and put it in the middle like this. Okay. And do each color, one on each side. That's easy enough. Okay. Then you can do the spiral, which kind of looks like a rose, so you just pinch the middle. And then put rubber bands all around it, and it will come out looking something like this. And how many rubber bands do you use? Uh, maybe like three or four, but the more is always better. <laughs> And then the third design is a random design, which you just scrunch in a ball and put the rubber bands on like this. And it's not all about t-shirts. I am tie-dyeing socks. Yes, and I'm trying a hair tie. So I guess this, I want mine to look like yours. So how do I achieve that? I want mine to look like yours too. Yeah, so basically um, for these smaller designs, you're just gonna scrunch them into a ball um, and then just put rubber bands all over them. Oh wait, you do it like that? Well, I hope so. <laughs> and then you take the paint, wait, <laughs> I'm gonna put my poncho in case she gets messy. And then you just squirt the paint right on it? Yep, basically. It will come out a little fast, so with the squirt bottles, but there's also other methods you can do. You can do a stovetop method too for like bathing suits or um, anything that has a synthetic fiber to it. So you can tie dye just about anything? Yep, pretty much. And how long do we <laughs> let it sit? Um, so you let it sit for about six to eight hours, then you can rinse it in cold water, and then you would let it air dry. I always say people to be on the cautious side, not to um, put it with other colors. All right, so if you're looking for some fun that you can do in your backyard, these are the tips for you, and we've got the information up for you on news12.com. I can't wait to see what it looks like.